If you've tried dropshipping and it hasn't worked out for you, then this is the video for you. Or perhaps you wanna get started in dropshipping, but you're worried about saturation, well then this is the video for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you and explain why over 90% of Shopify stores that start up end up failing within the first 12 months. I'm gonna ask you a question about your current business and depending on how you answer that question will highlight the reasons why your business potentially failed. So that question is, how easy is your business to replicate? Now you might be thinking, well, what does that mean? So let me explain. Before I do though, I wanna show you the screenshot taken from Reconvert. I did a little bit of research on this and it seems like the general consensus, because nobody's gonna pinpoint the exact percentage, but the general consensus is out of every 10 startups, only one will last through the times and become successful. So basically 10% give or take of Shopify stores succeed. When you watch videos on YouTube, when you see people posting screenshots on Twitter, on Facebook, it can be quite easy to come to the conclusion that everybody's making a ton of money doing this. When in reality, over 90% of people are actually failing. So if you are in that bigger percentage, then you are not alone. Personally, I think the number's a bit high in that, given my experience doing YouTube videos now, talking to probably tens of thousands of people at some point and hearing their experiences, then I would probably say the number is somewhere closer to 95. So I think something that we can all agree on is that to be successful, you have to be better than everyone else, or at least in that top percent. Because if you're the same as everybody else, we've already seen that everybody else fails or the majority of people fail. So if you're the same as the majority of the people, the majority of the people fail, and therefore you're destined for the same outcome. This brings us back to that question, how easy is your business to replicate? If I can replicate your business, your Shopify store, in 24 hours, never mind one or two months or six months or a year, if I can do it in as little as 24 hours, then how can you truly expect to be successful? And therefore you should ask yourself how easy my business is to replicate. If you've used a free theme, so these are just some general examples. If you've used a free theme, if you've used supplier product images, so you've imported them from CJ Drip Dropshipping, you haven't edited them, you've imported them from AliExpress. If you're using recycled content and you're sourcing your products from a Chinese supplier, then your business is very, very easy to replicate. Me personally, given my experience building stores, doing that sort of thing, I can literally open a Shopify store and be the exact same as you, if not better than you, within 24 hours. If it was really that easy and anybody could start a successful business within 24 hours, everybody would be doing it because 24 hours is not a lot of time. Most people are willing to invest this amount of time into achieving something, not just in business, this goes for anything. If you want to learn how to play golf, most people will probably invest more than a day learning how to play golf before they either decide to give up or they decide they actually wanna carry on and keep doing it. Hey, just real quick, just 20 seconds of your time before we get back to the video. I just wanna make you aware of a free training that I've recorded and is available to everybody. This training will show you how to profit from Shopify dropshipping in 21 days. Now, I know that is a bold claim, but we've had hundreds of people go through this very same training and achieve that very same goal. So this training, it will show you how to find your very first winning product. It will show you how to find quality supplies that will deliver your product in less than seven days. No Chinese supplies that take two to three weeks to deliver poor quality and plastic products. I'll show you how to build a professional and high converting industry standard Shopify store at an above 3% and I will also show you how to target people who are interested and want to buy your product and like I said find your very first customers in three weeks. It's 100% free, won't cost you a single penny, all I ask is for your email address and I ask you for that so I can also send you this. So this is also 100% free, everybody who watches the training gets my personal hand-picked selection, it's a PDF download of 194 profitable products product ideas for 2023. So by watching this training, not only do you get the products you need to sell, but you also get the strategy that you need to sell them. If that sounds good to you, make sure you check out the top link in the video description below. Thanks. So if you're currently running a business that only requires about a day's worth of input, you are therefore pretty much competing with most people. And remember, 
Most people fail at this. So to be successful, you have to do things that most people are willing not to do, or at least 90% of people are not willing to do. So this is things like investing more money into your business. Obviously, there's going to be people out there, a lot more people willing to invest $100 into a business than there are people willing to invest $1,000 into a business. You need to take your time building something unique. If you try and build and rush a Shopify store in a couple of days, some Somebody with the same experience who might take a week or two weeks is obviously going to build a much higher quality Shopify store. And those people that tend to have the patience and do things properly and get it right before they rush into things tend to be the people that succeed in the long run. And number three is put a lot of thought into your business. Thinking about the kind of products that you want to sell, thinking about the kind of market that you want to target, thinking about who your ideal customer is, thinking about the kind of brand that you wanna create, thinking about what your strategy is gonna be for the next six months, for the next year, for the next two years. These are all things that most people do not consider when they get involved in this business. So here are three quick examples then of what those things are. These are typically things that you will not see the generic Shopify dropshipping business doing. So number one is custom packaging and or product. The reason I put that is because it's a lot quicker and cheaper to get started with custom packaging because it's a lot cheaper to make. Whereas if you wanna get your product custom made with your logo on, you will have to commit to whatever the MOQ is for that supply. It might be 100 units, might be 500, might be 1,000. Whereas getting say 200 boxes printed with your logo on, it's gonna be a lot quicker and a lot cheaper. And it's not that much trouble for your supplier to pick up your box versus just the generic one they're using. So here's an example then taken from vanityled.com. This is a 1.5 year old Shopify store making half a million annual revenue in the makeup niche, making approximately 20 grand per month in net profit. So a couple of things to point out here is they've not been in business that long. Um, 18 months is not a long time, but the beauty of this business model is that once you have the right product and the right strategy, you can make money very quickly, but obviously you need those first two things first. So this is Vanity LED. This is just a screenshot taken from their reviews. We can see clearly this is a box that's been custom printed with their message and their logo on it. I don't know about you, but if you take a look at or have a quick think now about all of the dropshipping stores you've ever seen, probably the top 5% have some form of custom packaging or custom product. So by doing this, it instantly sets you apart from that bottom 90%, which is where we're trying to stay out of because going back to that statistic, that statistic earlier on in the video, we know that bottom 90% fail. So in terms of how kind of obtainable this is, um, obviously it's cheaper for packaging, like I've mentioned, to get boxes printed. So these are the sorts of things you can go out and get quotations for. And then once you've validated, this would be my personal recommendation, once you've validated the product actually works and the idea works, the brand works and you're making it profitable, then you can invest in having your product custom made or at least having a logo printed on the product as well. Number two is original content for ads. So for this, I'm gonna show you a brilliant example from a seven figure dropshipping store called Twinkling Tree. Before I actually show you the ad creative, just to show you how I know how they're so successful, I just want to show you the fact that this has been going since November 24th, 2022. Of course, when I record this, we're in 16th of August. So what's that? About eight months, give or take nearly 50,000 reactions, 10,000 comments, which is incredible, um, and nearly 20 million views, which is obviously pretty impressive. If we jump into the comment section, we can see, I love it. We can see here, in fact, let me open up some more of these. So as we go down, just keep an eye on the amount of people that bought this product. So Natalie, I bought it and looks so sweet. Love all the items I've bought from here, but this is my favorite. I like this. I love it. I'm looking forward to seeing it up. Merry Christmas, everyone. I love my enchanted willow vine. It's so gorgeous. Love mine, fast shipping. I just ordered one yesterday. I bought a fairy tree. I've ordered one of these. Love these. Do you deliver to Northern Wales? So as you can see, there's just comment after comment from people who are interested in the product, showing intent of buying this product, and actually people who have bought this product as well. So for all intensive purposes, we know this is a quote unquote winning product that is working. That being said, let's take a look at the ad creative I itself. So something to point out there is we know that this con piece of content has been created specifically for this business. Up until this point, there's no signs of the brand, but then seven, eight, nine seconds in, is it a bit further? 10 seconds in, they actually show the website. So this has been made specifically for this business. They would have paid this person if 
unless they're involved in the business in some way. Um, but otherwise they would have paid this person to create this piece of content purely for this product and purely for this brand. They have somebody, of course, as we'll see multiple times. In fact, it's based around that, what you would call UGC, which is user generated content. So this is where somebody comes onto camera, holds their iPhone up and films and talks about the products. They show it in lots of different settings and locations. They show how to buy it on the website. So anybody watching this, there would be no kind of two arguments or there'd be no trust issues. Trust is the number one thing that you will have to overcome as a business advertising online, especially if you're brand new. So they do a really good way of humanizing the brand, making the brand come across as really legitimate and professional by having a real person talking on camera and better yet, showing the website, showing how the product looks up on the wall and then at the end having a nice call to action as well. So the cost to have a piece of original content made for ads is approximately $200 give or take um, and the time approximately from placing your order depending on who you go with. There's a few different people, viral ecom, do it now, below do it. You can find people on Fiverr, but yet do it yourself or get a family member that's confident on camera and the turnaround time is gonna be in and around a week, maybe even two weeks. So again, there's an extra $200 there invested into your business, which the majority of people are not looking to do especially when it comes to dropshipping. Dropshipping is such a quick business to get started with and you can do with such a small budget that it attracts mainly people who don't have those larger budgets to invest in it. So by investing more money into your business and taking a little bit more time to get a higher quality piece of ad content, again, you're gonna set yourself apart from that bottom 90%. The third and final thing I wanna talk you through is original content for your Shopify store. Facebook prefers, if you're advertising on Facebook, Facebook prefers to send people to websites that have original content. They don't just wanna be sending people to the same website over and over. So those people who have done these things, which I mentioned earlier on in the video, which is use the free theme. So if you're using the same theme as everyone, your store's pretty much gonna look the same as everybody else's. If you're using supplier product images, you're gonna have the same imagery on your store. If you're using the same ad content, it's just gonna blend in with all the other people using that same recycled ad content. And of course, if you're sourcing from Chinese suppliers, then your delivery times are probably gonna be the same and not too attractive either. So to give you guys a great example, I'm going to show you acemend.com. If you haven't seen acemend.com before, then basically they're one of the biggest talks about dropshipping stores at the moment. They've taken a proven concept, which is the back scratcher, and they found an item which is readily available to dropship from pretty much everyone, AliExpress, CJ, BS, Zendrop, no matter who you go to, you will be able to get this product dropshipped. But what they do a really good job of is positioning themselves as the original sellers, designers, manufacturers, of this product and they do this because they humanize the brand and every single piece of content every single image you see on this Shopify store will be original to Ace Mend. So first things first they're not using a traditional free theme like the Dawn theme they're using an F30J custom theme. Move down so I can show you some more of the content. So here we can see all of their content is watermarked they have lots of different actors in the GIF they have the branded products the bag that it actually comes in again. So again it's just eliminating any potential trust issues from a customer because instantly they look super professional and established and legitimate again they have another range of different people using the product and um, everything is watermarked so it looks original to them they have this custom coded section this is not a default section that anybody can have on their Shopify store you will need to pay a developer or use an app which will cost money which again is something that most people are not willing to do moving down we can see more custom original Original video content watermarked I'm gonna see if he mentions and the refresh back stretcher which is what ace men to call it some more UGC more original content a before and after to position their product as superior and better yet when you come down into the reviews you can see it's the ace men product that has been reviewed it's not a generic one from Aliexpress because consumers are becoming savvy to that they're all too familiar with seeing the same reviews pop up on each Shopify store so these look like all original reviews unique to ace men that nobody else can steal because they're branded and just by doing these three things it will really really help set yourself apart from the majority of people push your business into that top 10% that goes on to succeed so overall the message to take away from this is next time you're starting a business don't skip corners invest in your business money and time wise like you're investing in a business that will last a lifetime and ask yourself at the end once your business is ready to go how easy is my business to replicate 
And the more money it costs somebody and the more time it costs somebody to replicate your business, then the better off you are going to be. And this is why I don't believe in saturation. If you do things better than everybody else to a point where it makes you impossible to copy because it would require tens of thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours, the amount of people willing to invest that level of investment is tiny, tiny percentages. And on that note, I'm going to wrap the video up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've taken something away from this and it's given you some ideas to go out and improve your business. If there's anything I can do to help, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I read every single one, so I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.